Yeehaw, everybody. Three people in the room. Monster fish gal. Sitting here working on my rod holders. I got two installed so far. Five to go.
three in the room, two th thumbs up, Carver family. Monster Fish Gal, Robert, great to you. I got three in style. Carver, if you think about it, you still in here? I know he don't want to hear this. Y'all, these hills, wire forms, hills, fishing rods. They're nice. Uh, Carver, I didn't know coming back from the, on the way back at Dollar Store right there, if you can see if I got any padlocks. Got my camera mount set up. I can turn my camera any which way I want to. We can use this thing anyways. The thing's gonna be nice. get in there working on something. Okay, all right. All right, I'm about to mount another one. I'm slow going it. Four in the house, give us those thumbs up, y'all. Like I, man, the water's like a sheet of ice out here. Need to be out fishing right now. Need to be fishing. Sunfish. Yeah, I, I could be out there right now. I got three rod holders up, so they could be hanging out on a hose somewhere while I mount the rest of them. But I'm waiting on Carver family to get back and, uh, Coach plays and his wife's supposed to ride by. Temperature's a little cool. It's low 60s right now. This cold front came in. Yeah, I could throw out right here. I got me some live bluegills. I need to get my back rod holder up and go and uh, Throw me a live bluegill out there, you never know. I caught a good sized channel catch yesterday. So, uh, 
You never know. My catfish pole's up there in the car. I get this one mounted back here, then I'll, uh, I might go get a pole and throw it out there. What the heck, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. I wish I had that shrimp at the house, might catch some channel cats. Only bad thing, the rod holders inside, they're hanging over the docks. Really? That'd be good, sunfish. Like I say, I might throw me old live bluegill out here, get this this one mounted here and do that. Love these rod holders, though. Gonna love the boat, I tell you. Blues in North Texas. Yeah, it'd be neat, uh, sunfish. Can't wait to get this thing out on the river channel. Bean Town breakdown. What well, do you know, Bean Town? Thanks to Carver, we went and got us a pontoon. We got sport down there in Florida. I'm going to call it Miss Catfish Mama. Moon over Miami. Let me go ahead and work on this next uh, rod holder back here. And that way, I might go get my catfish pole and throw a live bluegill out there. Doing pretty good, Bean Town. Robert. Oh, I will, Robert, as long as I can get a signal. I don't know how signals will be. But yeah, I'm going to do a lot of live streams. Man, this can camera holder is nice right here. I won't get me another one put up front up here. I need to get my battery pack out of the car too. Let me, let me see about getting this rod holder mounted back here. How to garden. Appreciate it, how to garden. I'll have a video coming out throughout the day showing everything. Martin UK got her boats putting the rod holders on it. Martin, our newest member, y'all. I want to give a shout out to Heels, rodholders.com for the, the rod holders.
and Martin for our very first member. And I want to shout out my cat flathead members, channel cat members, and blue cat members, y'all. Got seven right now, Tom, Kelly, Outdoors, Flathead. Uh, Ramsey Country of Flathead, Arrowhead Lee Jones, Danica Aquatics, Kaler Reptiles and Aquatics, uh, Chester White, and Big Flip Outdoors, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, it came in. Good, good. Thank you. Become a member there. Man, I'm going to have to skip your first name, Stan. No way I could call that name out. So squished uh, Hannah staying. That's probably not even close. Appreciate you being here. New founder, great having you. Cheers, everyone. Anybody just coming in? I'm mounting my rod holders on the boat. I did mention Tom Kelly Outdoors too, didn't I? My mind, y'all. But y'all, I appreciate all those Flathead, Blue Cat, and Channel Cat members, and also my awesome members of the Shell Crackers and the Skipjack, y'all. Hit those thumbs up if you don't mind. See, I'm going to have a rod holder back here so I can just turn my seat around. Watch this one. Nine in the house. Being real careful well I won't drop any of the nuts in the water. No one kept fish here. I really could be using two men on this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Eleven in the house, y'all. Hit those thumbs up. Eleven in the house, four thumbs up. What's wrong with it, Stan? Leaking at the same front right chamber. Yeah, that ain't good.
This thing comes long as you own it. It comes with a from the deck down lifetime warranty. And, and I was surprised that even includes the plywood. That's a heck of warranty. If you sell it, it voids it for anybody else. Then from the top of the deck up, it's a 10 year warranty. And I think we got 10 years on the Mercury motor. John Francis, buddy. Thanks for coming in. Y'all, I ain't gotta worry about anything while I'm mounting these things. I know Monster Fish Cows got it under control. Monster Fish Cow, get them to give us some thumbs up out there. We got 10 people, but just four thumbs up. Bean Town, you still in here? I hope health wise and everything doing okay. Oh, I'm loving it, man. You would sure would love to have some new members go along with the ride with us, y'all. The old man is back. And I got Pontoon Jody in my eyesights. Thank you, Lord. Moon over Miami. Oh, y'all, low battery. I got to go to the car and get my battery charger right quick, y'all. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hopefully nobody can have his phone while I'm gone. But uh, I'll be right back. Let me go get my battery charger.
this battery charger hooked up. All right. Viking. Getting serious, buddy. Oh, it's nice, man. We will let you know if someone takes it. That'd be rough, wouldn't it? Would be rough. About to have number four managed. Eight in the house. It's called a bass buggy 16, but it's like, it's actually like 18 feet. Trying to get these things lined up just like I want them. All right, that's got it. Brooklyn Chick, how you doing, Brooklyn? Thanks for coming in. Jimmy James Bailey. Thank y'all. Y'all hit those thumbs up. Get our notifications out there. Yeah, I wonder if I want to put me a brim head on that or a live bluegill and throw it out back. I get, need to raise this top before I do it though. Pride more.
Martin. Y'all, Martin is my very newest member. Wouldn't you like to be a member to somebody like me? This poor old man. Brooklyn chick. Robert got videos of me driving it around when I let it off the dock and everything. I'm going to have a video tomorrow probably with everything, the way the days went. And honestly, if I like to be out there tonight, even though it's a little chilly and the the winds out of the northeast. Thank you. Yes, very important, Lori. Thank you. Heels, I got their shirt on. Heels rod holder, because man, I wouldn't have been able to get all these if it wasn't for him. The other ones was just out of my budget. Eight in the house. Well, I'm fixing mount another one. Don't forget old Tom Kelly too, y'all. Jimmy James Bailey, hello, Pride Moore. Alright y'all, I'm gonna step up here and mount another one right quick. These brackets makes it nice for the rails and ain't gotta worry about drilling holes in your rails and stuff. Everybody was wanting about for this bracket, they was wanting as much for this one bracket than what it costed me for the whole bracket and rod holders with a half inch in extent extensions. I saved well over half the money on them. But 
that y'all would excuse me. I'm going to go up here and mount another one.
two to go, y'all. Roger O'Kelly. Thank you, buddy. Christmas has came early. Mounting my rod holders. Old Kelly. Yeah, they're gonna be nice, man. I can't wait to see those rods bending on them. I think I'm gonna rig one of those bluegills up and throw the old pole out back here. And uh, I don't think though my canopy's really in the way. It needs to be raised up. I guess. Uh, see if that thing won't work. It'll work there. Might put me old bluegill out around these docks. Who knows? Y'all twelves thumbs up. Appreciate it. It's good to know I can have that thing up, even if I get the top down, which I'm gonna need that top in the sun. It is an old creek channel runs right, riverbed runs right out from about the mid section of this dock up over the next dock. I pulled it up and checked it out on the maps and everything.
Got me some live bluegills already in my basket. I mean, what have we got to lose? A bluegill. Vanilla Sports, thank you, thank you for coming in here. Bahala, Bahala, it is. Uh, vanilla, my goodness. Make sure to close that opening on the cup so Mr. B didn't visit. His visit his tongue lately. <laughs> well, Hal, I thank you for coming in here. Great box on the side of the console, right here. In front of it's the live well or bait box, but uh, over here we got a little sofa like two bath seats up there. This this the graph up here. Sonar and when I get a chance I'm gonna give a bigger rundown on everything. I just thank you about Valhalla Valhalla. Hey if I don't get your name right I apologize. And if you see Carver family tell him thank you. He's taking on a big responsibility of it. I'm, I'm taking on the dock and everything. So we're helping each other out. Then anything we can, uh, we're pooling all of our resource together. Anything we make off of uh, YouTube and everything. So. Like I told them, as long as I can keep my bills paid, I don't care about nothing else. Throw the rest towards the boat and everything. It ain't nothing else I need. Need catfish mama back, but that ain't gonna happen. I'm glad to see that rod is set up there without uh, putting the top up. That's pretty neat. Oh, we just got it today, Valhalla. I'm uh, I'm installing my rod holders right now while I 
I take a minute and talk, then I'm going to mount another one. I like two more. We've had it on order for about three weeks now, three and a half weeks, but we got it in the water today from Bass Pro. I haven't even got out to run it. We put it in and I drove it around. Pretty good size area to get around the docks and to my slip. I got a, it's been a long time since I've uh, pulled boats in slips before, so it's going to take some getting used to again. But y'all, any members or just watching the channels and everything, everything will go to help out on this and making the videos for everybody. The old man's back and we're going to show you some, not only big catfish, we're going out and get the big bass and everything. Oh yeah, we got a bass boat we hadn't been able to use. I haven't last seven years because my, my body and my neck and everything, I can't be backing boats in and out. So we got us a boat slip. All I gotta do is uh, get Carver to rush out to work and I run down here, jump on the pontoon and book. This is my job. Now, if you haven't hit that thumbs up, please hit it. Help share us out and everything, y'all. Yeah, that's what he said uh, last time I seen him. He popped in here for a minute or two. I hadn't seen them anymore. But yeah, it'd be great him getting out there catching them. I need Carver to get back. He's got my landing net and everything. Uh, before a big old flathead load on to this old live bluegill. It's got cup holders all the way around this thing. Two there, one here, two there, two more up there, another one over here. It's it's loaded with cup holders. Got a ladder to step off the back here if you want to go swimming. I won't be using that, I don't think. Hey, about how it's a night. Uh, when he gets here, uh, yeah, that's what I told him. We're going to Christian the pontoon. This building right here is a scoreboard sports bar. And that, it opens up at 4 o'clock this evening. And we're going in there tonight and going to have a drink and going to have dinner. Michael Owens, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Love you, Michael. That's a man who's going to get out here and fish with me on this thing. Michael, love you, man. Uh, Valhalla, I, I told Carver I'd like to call it Cat, Catfish Mama or Miss, Miss Lisa, my, my late wife I lost, and their mom and everything. I like to call it Catfish Mama. I broke down driving back today when we got the boat and uh, we was follow following them back out here with the boat and Terry Lee put on some 70s soundtrack and the first song came up, man, it brought me to tears because it was a real favorite song of uh, Catfish Mama and Me Too. And 
He said, you want me to turn it off? I said, no, let it play. It's been raining most of the rain's over with. But it was old Elvin, Elvin Bishop. Uh, food around and fell in love. I'm gonna mount another fight hole. Monster Fish Gal, let everybody know. Thank you for being in here by Hal up. Michael Owens, Monster Fish Gal. Robert, all of y'all.
one more and seven rod holders will be mounted. What's that up there? Martin, UK International. Appreciate it, Martin. Go catch a big one. Man planning on it, buddy. I tell you what, we're on a river where they're at, I promise you that. Martin and Michael Owens, appreciate you both. It's plundering time, boys. Yeah, Carver family saying thanks everyone for coming in. Yeah, he had 12 pack of, uh, sure did 12 pack of Bud Light, raised the pirate flag and Lord, she will be watching, and uh, not. I, I told Carver she had a big hand in all of this coming together. Uh, today's 19th. Just three days ago was her birthday. And it's been a rough week. And the guy who had this stock here, and what's weird about it, they said his boat looked identical to this, but he lost his wife, she died, and, and uh, he up and pulled his boat out here, selling his house and moving to East Tennessee, and that's how I got this stock. Y'all, if I've missed anybody's comment or anything, I apologize, but I know Monster Fish Down's got my back. Yeehaw, Michael Owen. I don't know what I did then. Time came up. Paint it by how they said everybody wants this stock. They said this stock hardly ever comes open. It's convenient for me because I, I walk down the ramp and I'm right here at the door. And we got we got restrooms right there. Pretty neat. Y'all, we got 14 thumbs up. Let's get that thing up around 20. Michael, I got thinking I'm going to get out here tonight with my cast net around this boat ramp and the lights. I might be able to get me some shed. They said Skipjack will come up in here running. They say they catch them two at a time. I like to, I like to see that. Got my old skipjack pole sitting right here. One more rod holder to go. I could have put a couple more on here if I mount them onto the doors, but I don't know about mounting them on the doors. Oh, I know, uh, Michael. It'd be nice if I get catching some uh, shed.
You sound like you've been around Bobby a lot. Coach plays and Carol and the little baby is supposed to be coming by this evening. Grew up in the city, Los Angeles, wow. You know, I couldn't believe it, it was on the news last night. Memphis ranked number one in 2023. Nashville was 16th. And uh, Los Angeles was number one in muskaters last year. How about that a tip from Catfish Terry? Yeah, the rich people. You should have skipped a uh, shed all in your uh, creek down there, Michael. Anybody new coming in, hit that thumbs up, y'all. Want to thank Michael Owens and Martin UK for the super chats. And I want to thank Martin for the membership the other day. And my, my flathead, blue cats, and channel cats, y'all. Tom Kelly Outdoor, Ramsey Country. Uh... Danica and Aquatics, Kayla Reptiles and Aquatics, Arrowhead Lee Jones, Chester White, and Big Flip Outdoors. Then also all my, I got too many uh, shell crackers and skipjacks to even remember. Appreciate all of y'all. Thank you, Lord. Worked two summers at my uncle's resort in Minnesota. Ran his boathouse, sold, sold leeches and manos. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, exercising my brain, uh, Monster Fish Gal, because I'm getting where I forget a lot. And I've been trying to hammer these seven names in my, in my head. Because I need to do a little something for them to, for being members and everything. And Tom Kelly, not only a member, man, he's, he uh, sent me some rides. Now he, he called, said, be looking for a package at your house today. It ain't, ain't no telling what he sent. Tom Kelly is outdoors a heck of a person. Y'all, we're four away from 20. I think it's 16. No, it's 15. We're five away. I wish big old flat, flathead slipped through here and grabbed that old live bluegill. But uh, me and Carver's plans, if we don't get a wild hair and run out tonight, we got plans to get on here in the morning and head out. Appreciate it, Lord. I'm gonna go mount my last rod holder, y'all, and it'll be done.
Don't forget, heelsridholders.com, y'all. Heels wire forms. Just like the back of my shirt says. Looked up finding him. Thank you, Lord. Boy, after I get this mounted, I'm gonna have to let y'all watch my phone while I run up here to the restroom. Too much coffee. But I'm gonna go mount this last one in the right overs and be all, all done. Sixteen thumbs up, we need four more. I gotta get a little Bailey a life jacket and start bringing her down here too. Carver family is really excited though, and he should be.
Yeah, the rod holders are installed. We're two away from 20. It's turning into a catfish rig, y'all. Let's go get them. I got a canopy on this one. It'll raise up. We raised it up when we went and inspected it and everything. I told Carver I'm going to put it up and probably keep it up most of the time. Because I can't be in this sun. Uh, I might set it up after a while, actually. But yeah, it's nice having the canopy on it. And plus, if you're out at night dew or anything like that. Let him sail on his way. I appreciate you hanging around, man. I appreciate you being in my stream. Appreciate all y'all. Sounds good. Two away from 20, 20 thumbs up, y'all. You know, it's just, it ain't just our channel. People just don't, they go watch a lot of videos, but they don't do a lot of thumbs up or ringing the bell and stuff. Oh, this is a, you ain't seen busy yet. This place gets to rock in tonight at four o'clock and tomorrow and Sunday with the sports bar. They have a band and they had big screen TVs all around the place. It's, I'm, I haven't even been in there yet. Me and, me and my wife came down here, it's been several years ago, it was called uh, fish tails back in and on Friday nights they would have a catfish fish fry that was good but they got this uh, same bar out in by Opry land Opry Mills and uh, I've been to it I used to go out there and hang out and play poker and everything it was real nice back in all I'm having is one drink We got the 20 thumbs up, y'all. Let's work on 30. 
25. I made a mess with all these wrappers and everything. Carver come back, he'll die. But at least I got it done. We got a Minn Kota trolling motor. I got to check it all out and learn it. Walk the plank. Yeah, I don't need to walk the plank. What time is it, y'all? Four twenty-two. Is that a Eastern time, Lori? Five o'clock somewhere. Man, I want to come out and bait all my catfish poles and set them out and just bring my guitar and pick around. It's my time. This They're supposed to open 4 o'clock, I thought, here. They might already be open. The band probably just ain't started yet. Or y'all watch my phone and everything. I'm gonna run to the restroom right quick. Too much coffee. I'm gonna have to put that jacket on here in a minute. Yeah, normally the band don't start too early. Uh, during the during the Titans game and. The, Everything when the sports bar get cranked back up, they, uh, a lot of the uh, Blaine Bishop and them shows up here and does their uh, sports show from here by Holla. By Holla. Their talk show. I think it's 104.5. Man, I'm tickled to death to have the rod holders mounted, uh, Michael and all of you. I got it surrounding the whole front end and one back here. We, we should be in good shape to, for the fish. About like I've been calling Jody, Trotline Jody. I start calling myself Trotline. I still ain't got as many rods out as she puts out. Uh, Monster Fish Cow, I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the restaurant.
and I could be out there dragging some baits. Twenty one there's Dennis. I'm on the uh, Monjorno. They double my doses. My double doses has been doubled for the past two weeks. How you doing? Hey. Man, you're ready for fish. I'm ready to go now. And it turns off code. <laughs> Around, yeah, it won't. It won't stay like this. What do you catch with the big saltwater rig? I fish for catfish. Catfish. Yeah. Okay. I, I dropped a live bluegill off right here. You can never know around these docks. Right. But yeah, I like. It was the guy that was the guy that was here. Where did he go? His wife died. Mm -hmm. He he sold his uh Pulled his boat out, sold his house, and they said move to East Tennessee. Back home, back to East Tennessee, because he's from, he's from Eastport. Yeah. I guess he's, he's got family. Uh, they talk like it was just recently. recently. Yeah, because he just disappeared. Yeah. Nice they said he was a super nice guy. They said he had about the same boat. Yeah. I thought for a second, I said, this is a little shinier than he is. It's Oh, really nice guy. Man, I, I hey, enjoyed Somebody was telling me he was a deputy sheriff, retired deputy sheriff. Captain. Captain. Yeah, he was, he was uh, a drunk sheriff. Yeah. Drunk sheriff. Yeah. 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 They were able to make a connection all the way back to Columbia. Really? Yeah, they said he was a really nice guy. Yeah, that's right. Glad to see you here, though. Yeah. Hate to see him leave. You'll be seeing me about every day around here. It's a, it's a really nice boat. How old is that? Just got it today. Oh, it's brand new. Yeah, we've been waiting on it now for about three weeks or so. Really? And it finally came in. What, is that like a 50 horse? Yeah, it's got 50 horse mercury. At four strokes, nice, man. You can't hardly hear it run. Uh, I had a buddy of mine that's got a Yamaha, and he, every time he turned around, he's trying to restart it after it was running because he couldn't Oh, it's unreal. I'm used to the older motors, and I ain't used to this. It's so quiet. And not don't have to mix oil or anything. It's like driving your car. And they're, uh, they're really easy on gas, too. That's what I'm wondering, because it's oh, got a little gas tank. You'd be surprised how far you can go on that. Really? Oh, yeah, they sip gas. Somebody, that's his exact words, Tom Kelly. He, they said, sip gas. he said they sip gas. Yep. Now, you, you, will not be, you will not be disappointed with that feature. I was thinking six-gallon tank, man, that ain't going to go far. Because I like to run up and down the river yeah. and fish and everything. Yeah. You, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked if, you, if you've gone to a two stroke to the four stroke, you, you love Oh, my. It. Well, I got had a 115 on my two stroke, and man, they drank some gas. Yeah. We watch these two right here now. They're, they're... How y'all doing? Fourteen pounds, Dennis. Yeah, 
Are they just going to jump off the boat into Probably. the water? Probably. I'd like to see them come across the gate plank down the right. steps. Down the steps, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be cute. Yeah. 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 Have I you seen the tossable uh, fish finders? What's that? Have you seen the tossable fish finders? You attached to your Oh, yeah, I've seen them. Out? They've yeah. got a new one out that's supposed to be really, really delicate. Yeah, I'm thinking I've, about it for my tournaments, my catfish tournaments. Are you the one catfish? Yeah. I talked to somebody who said it was a lady up here catfish. Yeah, that's, that's what me. I do. I catfish all the time. Yeah, I do tournaments in Cookville uh, every Saturday. That's what he said. A pay lake, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so Twin Lakes yeah. Catfish Farm. All right. There's one here in Gallatin too that does tournaments. Yeah, I've been to Gallatin. Yeah. Um, my biggest in tournaments is 42, 44. Really? That's good. We'll catch some big ones out here. Yeah. Uh, Biggest one I've caught out here so far has been about 20. Oh, really? So, yeah. Uh, I've been just bank fishing lately. I got my own YouTube channel. But this is a good spot for a skipjack, too. That's what I hear. I hope so, man. Cause Run you that, some jigs. And right now is about the time they'll be running. That's my favorite bait. Yeah, mine, too. I've got a freezer. Four little yeah, I do, too. Let me know. <laughs> well, all of mine's old. I try to change them out every year. Right. They don't mind them old. Really? They don't mind them old. Split the belly, hook them through the back. Run your hook all the way through and then run it down and hook it through the back three quarters behind the dorsal fin. Yeah. Bring your hook back out there and throw it out. It doesn't matter how soft it is. I was They're wanting like to meet you because of one of the guys walking. I'm Tracy. Tracy, I'm Terry. Nice to meet you. That's a Terry, too. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> That's a Terry, too. Yeah, my mother was yeah. a professional bass fisherman. Yeah, I'm Catfish Terry on YouTube. Oh, so. there you go. Yeah, my mother was a professional bass fisherman. She still, to this day, holds the women's all-time money-winning record. Really? Linda England. Yeah. yeah uh, that's my mom. She's uh, from Old Hickory. Yeah. She? Well, she was from Madison. Yeah. And moved to Old Hickory about ten years. Before yeah, she she, died. she was a heck of a fisherman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she was. She was. I was not. Yeah, I was not uh, quite patient enough. To do well. bass fishing. So, <laughs> catfishing works better for me. I can smoke a joint and sit there and fish all night. <laughs> I, used, I used to bass fish all the time, and mainly on priests. We used right. to have the Tuesday night tournament yeah. once a month, had the all nighter. Yeah. Where did you catch the most fish and catfish when you come to priests? Where was it? What about the place? I caught most of mine up in Hampton Creek. Hampton Creek. Ours used yeah. to be up near Pete yeah. Sanders. And, yeah, right. Up around Pete mm -hmm. Sanders over in a What's that, Smith Fork Creek Smith back in yeah. there? Yeah. It's such a rocky bottom lake. It's all rock. It's some big old flatheads. I've caught yeah, some they, monster they flatheads over there. literally bulldoze a rock out of the way and, and create themselves a little tunnel under there. Really? And they're happy as punch. Lay there with their mouths open and wait for... They just get in a tight little spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, they'll crawl in those Lay little there, crevices. Yeah. Wait with their mouths open for a little rock bass to swim in and slam down. Yeah. That's what they did. At old, uh, the old Stones Riverbed, they mm -hmm. hang around that old love riverbed that. up there. Yeah, any lumber, any riffraff, they love. Well, you know, they cleaned the timber out of the upper part of the lake before they flooded it. Yeah. Because when I was in Boy Scouts, we... Right, we got to go. Y'all have a great night. Yeah, good good meeting. See you later. There's about four trees that got together. We had about 60, 60 Boy Scouts up there on the brush. Because they were cutting the trees. And we just grabbed the limbs and we pulled them to a big pile and they piled them all up and uh, hauled them off, you know, out of the lake. And they, they took all the timber out. They cut all the timber. They, oh, yeah. When the lake came up, they didn't want to have that timber. Which they still left a lot. I used to go up. Yeah, uh, I used to go up in Hamilton Creek. And you got it? Yes, I do. Thank you. All right. Go it's up. I a struggle trying to get everything out sometimes. I used to go up to Hampton Creek and fish 25 foot of water and type line tree tops uh, wow. over in there and uh, catch crappie year round. There was no tree tops left yeah, in there? Yeah, left that. them in there up yeah. in Hampton Creek. Yeah. We just way up there around the morning. Really, yeah, the that. water's a lot more shallow up that way than yeah. it is down and around the That's probably, yeah. yeah. They left the stumps. You know, yeah, those stumps what made great fishing up on that upper end. Yeah, uh, the bass would get in there and lay next to the stump yeah. all the time. We used to go up in Smith Fork and just flip a bug around the stumps. And you'd wear the bass out. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lot deeper on the lower we end. We used to fish up there in the 70s when I was in college. 
there's a couple of buddies of mine that just came back, Chris went out with them, and, and uh, we went way up there one time, and uh, my buddy said, we went way up towards Sm Smyrna on the, to the, we get up there, we went to the right, up there, and there was a place up there that said there's no farm there. and you got the, Back then, they had the debt finders, you know, they had the light on it, you know. That's all we had back yeah. then. And he said, he said, watch for that drop off. And he said, there's a, there's an edge and a rock fence, you know, a rock uh, slave fence. And he, and it went whoop, whoop, like that. And he said, there it is. And it was a little bit further, and there was that, there was that pond bottom. You know, it dropped off real quick. It, it had a bottom that came up the other side. So we fished that, that drop off right there. Rock, rock the fence, and then that comes in. And he caught one one night. I thought he broke his wrist when he said he, he heard it. He, he laid back into it with a fish of the worms. He laid back into that bass, and it was, I think it was eight and a half pounds. Priest, we always fish the humps out there. And yeah. you have to find them with the flashers and throw yeah. you a little marker out. And, right. Man, those bass get stacked up on those hunts. Yeah. Catfish, stripers, and everything. A lot of uh, using the, the grapple of the, the crawfish color one. Yeah. You get down there and get it right, go across some rocks, and next thing you know, you, you hit the rocks and thump, 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 and bam, you know. I haven't, I haven't fished spruce in years. It got to where they was breaking into your cars and everything over there. Yeah. And I back just, the, I stopped going over back there. Back in the 70s, I took my dad. My dad was a big fisherman, but he liked to go. I took him out. We went out one night, and Dirk, he didn't catch a four-pound smallmouth. It's some big smallmouth. Oh, this said, lake's got some big smallmouth. He, he laid into it, and he said, I got a big one. I got a big one. And, man, that thing was just like, it was just like it was a stump. It stopped. And I said, I think we, I think we got time up, and all of a sudden it, it, you know, it got to going again, you know. And I, I worked it into the boat. We got it. It's, it's, it's in my mom and dad's house, four pounds. I, I had it mounted for me. Yeah. And it's a nice small one. Yeah, I've caught several over there in the six-pound class, right? It's a, a bike. Jam, Jimmy Heimer, he used to run the poor boy tournaments. Mm -hmm. Good friend of mine, and uh. Man, you remember, hit. you remember a guy named John Huber from Hendersonville? Mm -hmm. Remember that name? Nope. Not years ago, he he fished quite a bit of them. Uh, not off the bat. Hammer though, him and his daughter, man, he would go out on a Tuesday night, and they'd bring in the biggest net of smallmouths. Wow. He knowed how to catch those smallmouths. Yeah. And Porter Wagner, he's a good smallmouth fisherman. Right. Yeah, we're going to enjoy it. Well, like you said, the two best times were about 125. Yeah. You've got it going now. I know it. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice when, it, when they're brand new. Oh, you yeah. Are you going to Are you going to be here? That's where you're going to be down Yeah. yeah. It's a good place. People are, people are pretty respectful. I, I know the other guy that was here, he, uh, he never, he had, it's almost identical, but he, uh, he had always left one for five or something, and he never complained about anybody else. I've been all up and down through here. I caught a bass up here the other evening. I caught a largemouth the other day right around seven pounds up here. Seven, seven and a half pounds. The guys, the guys serious bass I've seen boats already slipping around out here. They work it hard. They throw up underneath it. Something they can to get around the edge of the bank and get it to the bank. I was slipping the crappie jig around up there and he loaded onto it. Then yesterday I caught a pretty good sized channel cat up there doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good 
You want a catfish? I got one over about that long. Ah, I don't want my words back. Why you had to get off the work? Huh? You had to get off the work. You work all the time. <laughs> that is actually me. Two pounds, seven ounces. Carver should be getting here. Tim Wolfpack. Just got all my rod holders mounted. <laughs> Getting there, Po. Uh, man, big foot, you've lost 55 pounds. Tom Kelly. I miss Tom Kelly. Wow, that's 14 tanks. Dean, buddy, how you doing down there in Florida? Thank you, Dean. Y'all hit those thumbs up. Four. Wow. We was down there last month, Disney World. That's what that's what got us to get this pontoon is that fishing trip in Disney. Once a week, uh uh Dennis. Talking about putting a catfish cherry flag up in the Carver family. Hey, good talking to you. Hey, good talking to y'all. Yeah, I'll be here about every day, just about. Yeah, that's what they say he was a great guy. What was y'all's name? I'm not good at Ma Mike and Steve. I'm not good on names. So if I call you something, just roll with me. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're gonna be shocked about that deal. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. I tell you, and I'm hard of hearing too. Right, right. Pre get, get yeah, yeah, I know. Good meeting y'all. Up. I tell you what, past couple of weeks here, I've already met a ton of nice people, y'all. Yeah. You got to do a shot a day. Wow. Scallywag. <laughs> that hollow's full of it, eh? Uh, so, so school off Monday. We're in the 60s today. We had that uh, cold front move through last night. 
or well early this morning probably I've it's been a I've met a bunch of great ones so far bad thing I cannot remember names Harvey don't get here, I'm gonna have this boat floating around out there dragging some baits. Mine's, they, mine's $1,400 a month if you don't have insurance. But uh, with my insurance, it, it costs me $47. Think I wouldn't be able to uh, do them if I didn't have that insurance. Now, man, I got me an ice rod holder from Amazon, uh, camera holder from Amazon. This is going to be nice. I could tilt it up and get it up higher and get it more down on the action and everything. I want it to be Dean. I got a pole out right now with a live bluegill hoping to grab one around this dock, but Carver family and, and Carol and the baby was wanting to ride up, so I think we'll probably just head out in the morning. I was wanting to get B out there. Yeah, this thing will go all the way around, man. I hate that I miss Tom Kelly. I get talking and everything, and He's, he's at work. But yeah, Carver should be getting here. But I got all my rod holders up. I'm glad they mounted. Appreciate Heels. Rodholders.com and Heels Wire Form. He sells a little bit of everything, y'all. Great prices. <laughs> but we'll we'll be out there in the morning if we don't get out tonight. The wind's blowing out of the east, northeast right now where it cold front came in. Got a 50 mercury on it, Dean. Four stroke. And these seats are comfortable too. And my trolling motor, I can work from back here. So I'll be just dragging baits and sitting back here watching the rides, streaming. That'll be nice and we'll see the rides when they get taken down. Yeah, I got seven, which it's got a couple. It's got some rod holders on it, but they're made for smaller rods, like crappie rods and stuff. Shoot, I ain't got nothing compared to a lot of those people. Pontoon Jody's 
unreal. I call her Trotline Jody. On your way back. Been expecting you, buddy. Have you heard from Coach Plays? I'm gonna have to put my jacket on. He's he's back, y'all. Don't forget the pirates outfit. The old man is back. And man, it's great to have Monster Fish Cow back. I know she's got a, everything under control. Yeah, that lady who walked up, old guy was telling me she's out here on the end of the dock. She's a cat fisherman, but she runs a tournament at a pay lake. I don't go to any of the pay lakes, but her uh, said her mother, I know her mother, her mother was, uh, was a professional bass fisherman and she was good, boy. Linda England. Yeah, I know, Fish Cow, I, I told Carver, man, if it wasn't for coaching them coming, we'd go out there and jump on there with Ponte and Jody tonight. But I'm gonna get in there and fish with her some. If we could get a signal, that's what I gotta find out. How in the heck do they get a signal all the time? Y'all, I want to thank uh, Michael Owens for the super chat and uh, Martin UK. Appreciate the super chat, y'all. We need four more thumbs up for 30, y'all. Get out here and throw this skip po skipjack pole in a few minutes. See if I can't find a skipjack or two. Got a radio on this thing. Coach Hollum, I got a pole out, Coach. Have you seen Coach, the other Coach? I got a live bluegill hanging off the back here.
try and find one of these old fish sneaking around these docks. Having since three. Him and Carol and baby's supposed to come up tonight. I've, I haven't heard anything from them. Some good crappie around these dogs too. Charcoal grill burgers, man. Michael, you're killing me. I ain't ate today. Charcoal grill burgers, baked beans, and a salad. That's what for dinner, man. Real time catfishing, great having you. Yeah, it sounds delicious, man. I think they got barbecue sandwiches in here. I think I'm gonna go in and have me a barbecue sandwich. Real time, we got the boat today. I just got my ride holders mounted. Cedar Creek catfishing grade, haven't you? Cold Creek, I mean. Y'all, even with glasses, I cannot see. This ain't my newest prescriptions. These here actually was, these are about seven years old. So it explains it. Three thumbs up from 30, y'all. Let's hit 30. We hit 30 the other day. That was an awesome stream. Michael Owens and Martin with, with the Super Chats, I appreciate y'all. All my members, I appreciate you. I'm gonna be eating a lot of TV dinners now, Martin. Michael, I, last two nights I've had a turkey, turkey TV dinner last past two nights. Yes, thank you, Martin and Michael. I hear the band cranking up. I did get copyrighted last week, so I'm probably going to be ending this stream because they'll be copywriting me when this music gets to going. But I think I'll get out here and try catching a skipjack too. They say the skipjacks come in here. That's, man, that's great news if they do. No, they just take your uh, your money away and give it to the songwriters and stuff. They take my little. 15 cents away and give it to them. They need it worse. I did get one one true strike and it don't go off for what? Is it 90 days or six months? I can't remember. You're allowed three. Yeah, but how would you go in there to find it to mute it with it being that long of videos, the problem? Because once I get started, it'll be a lot of music rest of the night going on. They must be in there warming up. It 
It tells you where it is. See, I guess uh, go on computer, you can learn a lot of that. When you do it on your phone, you, it's a lot you can't do and everything. I need to get on my computer and check it out. Creator dashboard content live. Find the warning and mute it. All right, appreciate that, buddy. I'd need to do that because you know it's the principle of thing. I hate to give them that dime or 12 cents and uh, if they need it that bad, I'd rather just go in there and mute it out. Uh, Coach Plays has got hit on a video or two. Sports video. Harbor get here, I'd let him sit down and talk to y'all while I make a few casters. Oh, did you for the Masters? Oh man, how in the world did you get in touch with him? Because if you ever got any problem with uh, YouTube, man, I can't get in touch with those people. That's awesome. Hey, I actually, when I first started YouTube, I rushed up to, man, I took off like a bat and a uh, channel was growing big and that's back when YouTube, not long after it got going, it was going big and I got three strikes and they took my channel away from me. And I never would tell me why or anything, what I was doing wrong. And I had to start all over again. It was called fishing down south. There's the boy. It's about time. Tell me that's food. Lift up on it. Tell me that's food. You didn't go by the house? Uh, nothing there yet? Tom was in here. I missed him. I was talking so much. There's Coach Place. Where you at, Coach? Hey, fella. What do you think about the rod holders? Uh, I haven't looked at them yet. That'll work. Open it up. Huh? Open it up. That'll work, buddy. Open it up. Didn't open one of them. Yeah, she got still to get into it. Oh, I'll get into it. I got an eye. You want this seat and talk to everybody? Coach plays in here. What do you think? You think it'll bother you bass fishing? Reach your net down there and get your fish. Man, if you can't lift that high, you need to. All right, if I can't lift that high, I got the monsters. You need to go back to the gym. Well, I do need to go back to the gym. We'll be lifting those big catfish over those hooks. You see, I got this one back here. It's working good, even with the top. Yeah. You know, when we be driving, I probably need to be sitting up here, don't I? Seems like it's bad. It don't bother. I mean, if you get it trimmed up, it'll get going. Yeah. It's just, man, when I sit back there, it just seems like it's angled back. But, I, I mean, they, 
guess it's the weight of the motor and two batteries and everything. Well, that battery's right here. Yeah, the but it's still the weight right here. Because I, I even seen it in the picture. I was like, man. Y'all, I'm going to let Carver sit down here and talk to everybody. We need fish. I'm going to let him talk to y'all while I get up and make a few castings for some skipjacks. So that open, that's an open back there. It's not going to water back there. It's open back there. So yeah, and uh, you know the way he turned that can around? Yeah. Now that bub falls down in the water, we need to get something, uh, zip tie or something. Yeah, that'll work fine. And we got some zip ties at the house, just remember that. Don't hit that button on that thing or it'll come undone. But yeah, we'll do that because it is better to have the thing over there. Door dash, Terry. You brought me a padlock I was needing. You might have it open like that. It's circles. Hoop. You feed the hoop inside the middle and run the cord out and keep it locked in place in the middle. Keep what locked in place? Right you take that loop and feed it through the middle. And you take the cord, go through the loop, and you tighten it in so it stays locked on this. And you undo that and you can keep these uh, ropes laying inside. And when you get there, just pitch them out. I figure I'll leave the ropes hanging here and really? just hook the loop off the Get Which we got them ran in there right now. Yeah. No, we don't. They're just hooked on there. I don't. Nobody. Ain't you know what I mean? Them. What yeah. I'm saying, you keep it in, then you just keep everything kind of. You just have to retie it every time if you did, yeah. unless we made it loose. There's the music starting back up, y'all. Better get back here and talk to them, Carver. We're about to get a uh, copyrighted. Y'all appreciate all of y'all. I'm gonna let Carver talk to y'all. I'm gonna make some castes for skipjacks. Michael Owens, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Martin, thank you. Thanks all everybody being here. Now I did have the live well pump, but I don't know if it was running over or what, but it, the water was coming out down through here. I was trying to say, if it's wet through here, it's slippery. It was, you could see it running down through there. I don't know, but I ain't seen any since turned it on. Uh, I'm about to run. Yeah, yeah, I've got it cold water. Pretty high up. Got to move your house next to the lake. Oh, okay. All right. What's up? We got 12 people in the house. 27 thumbs up. I'm ready to get on the water now, but. And there you go, it's off fishing. Lower this down a little bit. More my level. Finally able to relax a little bit. Been running ever since I took Luke to school.
coach here is my lettering. Since the boat is this color red, uh, the pinstriping on the side is silver and a uh, tan, tannish gold. So uh, I got those to be able to match. Got a match, man. Color coordinate on this bad boy. Um, what else? I need to make up a couple flags. I like to be able to mount up a couple flags for the back left, back and right. Maybe one that has Catfish Theory logo on it. Another one maybe have Carver Family logo. Uh, maybe some uh, MJ Football logos on here. Uh, flags. Put some MJ Football flags on here. I don't know. Those little small flags, you know, that would be just something to kind of do it. Flags makes it tough to fish though. Yeah, I don't know how tall those things sit up. I don't think the gates. Yeah, that gate ain't working. Yeah, that gate ain't working. Yeah, that gate's not working. What's the listen to you say? I don't know how to play it. See that missing tank I'm gonna bring you a go balls but I don't want that old I want no no orange on the boat. No orange on the boat. I don't think there's anything that's orange that I'm unless it's like a Texas, a T for Texas. Owen said that he'll bring us a a Vols flag to put on it. I was like, nope. <laughs> Vols. Well, that gate's working. We've been dealing with Scully Braves, another pirate at three years. Here we go. Kind of breezy out here right now. Bust out my old hat. You guys can see the Carver family fishing. Usually when I first done my channel, Carver family actually had it saying Carver family fishing. So, you may see me get hit by catfish over here. Guy down the dock has a 12 of Bud Light Carver. Go plunder that who show him who's boss man be looking like Jason Kelsey up here. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hear that big bang, that's catfish throwing his lure up on top of the ceiling. Don't don't ask me how he done it. Walk the plank committee. I'm just talking. <laughs> I ain't talking to you. Yeah, I need to get out that other one and put it up too. No bones, no bones. 
Tell him give me your grog or y'all walk the plank to me too. Yeah, he said that they're probably gonna come down. Yeah, they're they're gonna come down. Okay, they're coming. Yeah, he asked if we were still planning on eating. I go, yeah. in the house. 27 thumbs up. What? Yeah. Really? Crazy. living in the house and catfish walking deeper. Alan, you got it right. No sorry is needed for them. Get that poodle color to eat. I almost read that one too loud there. Alan, I'm, you know, I mean, can't beat it. Catfish may be second place. The coach may be about third. I mean, we do have uh, Luke and Braylon, so. I think Coach may be uh, a little bit on down the line on the look part. Eight people in the house. Twenty seven thumbs up.
traffic cones and stop sign. I know, man. It's start charging a toll fee. Oh, who goes there? That's a. It's great where we're sitting at because right when you get through the gates, boom, we're right here, right. But it is a lot of traffic back and forth on like the busy days and stuff. Bad thing, bad. Ain't really no light here for nighttime. It looks like we've been having like 85 degree days, and today is sitting here at uh, what's today's degree? 63 degrees. It feels like a cold 63 compared to these 85 days. Tomorrow it's going to be uh, 66. It's said it got up to 71 today. Ninety here today. Where you at, Valhalla? You know, man, it, I hate it for Arizona losing their uh, hockey team. Oh man, Southern Arizona, so it's right on point. Man, I hate that you guys lost your Coyotes. What you looking at, Paul? What you looking at? But. Man, I, I hate seeing Arizona losing their hockey team and they're going to Utah. I've seen one like fan rendering, but about them being the Yetis, I think that'd be a cool name. I kind of like to see them keep the Coyotes. The Yetis be pretty cool, but man, I tell you that ownership maybe, and they stuck them in a small arena. They, it's like they tried to get that team to bomb so they could move. Kings fan. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, it's, that last night, man, they packed them in. If they could have done that year round, you know, it would have been great. But I don't know. It's just I don't I don't live there, obviously, so I don't know how they done. They're promoting and fan experience and getting the fans involved and stuff like that. So I don't know if they actually done anything like that. screwed up their leaves in the arena by Cardinal State. Oh, really? They screwed it up? And I heard their locker room at this uh, place is just makeshift locker room in the back of the uh, arena. It's almost like it's out in the open. They just kind of had like a tent. I think I've seen this video once before about how bad the locker area was. So you know they had a hurt trying to get free agents and everything. Seven thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this thing to 30 thumbs up. That arena by the Cardinal Stadium is really nice. It has been empty for two years. Really? Ever since they left, it's just been sitting empty. So is that not where the Suns uh, play? I guess not. I don't even know where Phoenix Suns uh, play their games at. I guess. Fish guy, appreciate that. You know, the Suns play downtown Phoenix. All right. I don't know how far apart Arizona is to uh, their Coyotes Stadium is to Phoenix and stuff. Catfish Terry, PayPal. In here, dropping the links left and right. I appreciate that. All 
COVID, it's less than a 30 minute drive. Silly crap, to be honest. They just never managed to get a real fan base. That's tough, and sometimes I, I do uh, um, I blame ownership on that because they could run so many stuff to get the fans involved because our Reds, we, we hit it big, then it leveled off, then we changed owners. We almost lost the team, kind of. And ever since then, man, the ownership came in and said, hey, we are Nashville. And uh, however they done it, man, they brought the fans in here. Now we packed the house. And, man, it's like a concert when we're down there watching the Preds play. It's all about getting that right ownership group in there. Yeah, they are on fire, Mahala. I, I didn't make a hockey game this year. The last two years, I haven't been able to make a hockey game just with everything going on. I love it, man. We used to go all the time. So much fun. I ain't been to a Titans game in probably eight years, honestly, but the bad thing about it, the prices get so expensive. Like Titans right now, I think it's about $100 a ticket, and that's up in nosebleeds for a game, and they've been so bad, I hate to spend $100 at least. You start out at $100 just for a ticket. I want to take my kids to a game, so that would be $200 a ticket and watch them lose and stuff. So hopefully they get better, but then you get $200 a ticket for two tickets and parking. And you're going to eat your drinks. You're looking at about $400 on uh, just going to a Titans game. It's unreal. What's up, Tom Kelly? Apache Adventures, what's up? Really? Checking in, Tom, Tom Kelly said he's checking in again. Tom Kelly said he's checking in. We got 14 people in the house. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, let's hit the thumbs up. Uh, we're trying to get it to 30. I want to hit that 30 mark, we're at 27. Bro, I went to a minor league Dodgers game in the spring training. Tom Ward, Coors Light, 1750. It's unreal, like Atlanta Falcons, I think they do it right. Uh, seeing their prices on their food and drinks and stuff. They're all about making the sales. You know, the cheaper that stuff is, like Atlanta, the more people's gonna buy it. So the more they're gonna spend it. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But it seems like if you sell it cheaper in the long run, you're gonna make more money because more people's gonna be able to afford all the hot dogs, all the drinks for the family of four, family of two, family of three even just one person, maybe they can uh, come out honestly making more money. That's making more sales if it's cheaper. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's the way I would think about it. It will swing back out way up some point. No way I'm going to any live shit the way it is now. I know it. Uh, we went to concerts last year, and I was for two tickets. We went to uh, Kiss, went to um, Rob Zombie with Alice Cooper went to Thomas Rhett went to Yeah, 13 in the house. Let's right, see how this graph looks over here. I think 16 and a quarters at the Panthers game was eight dollars. We stopped in pregame before going in. Even snuck a few. Man, Apache, didn't y'all's Panthers tickets get down to almost about two dollars? They've basically given away the tickets. 
Just trying to get fans in there so if any of the music triggers the copyright warning, you can clear it. How can it? How can you clear that, uh, Valhalla? Because man, it ain't us playing the music, it's just like a distraction in the background, like some uh, karaoke type stuff, live music. Uh, how do you clear that? Made some cart bait, man, I like to check that out. Sunfish, uh, I don't know if you got Facebook or Instagram. If you got Instagram, come find me. You can get online from like Terry Carver Jr. Find me on there. Uh, or if, I'm trying to build up my, U, my Instagram YouTube page, The Carver Family YouTube. Hit me up on there and send me those pictures. I want to share you guys out on my channel. Anytime y'all catch a fish, uh, send me pictures. I'll put you guys on my community tab to share you guys out on uh, Instagram and stuff. I, I really want a big community. Greater dashboard content, live streams, find the stream, mouse over the copyright deal and click. Uh, it will allow you to choose mute to segment. Oh, so you can mute. Okay. Because not many people go back and watch the live stream over again. Doing good today. Have a good Friday. Oh man, we're having a great Friday Apache. There's fish all up underneath right here. Right up. We're sitting at about nine and a ten foot of water right here. So we would have to do it tonight. I know there's some galley wag. Watch that guy, Carver. Put him on the plank. Off the dock he goes, matey. Oh, this so I, if it does get hit tonight, we just go in there tonight at home, get on a computer and do all that. Cause it's rough, man. You get, you work hard and everything, make some good content and stuff, and you get popped for a copyright. When we're just trying to bring you guys content, um, and of course we're at a marina, they're playing music. It ain't us playing the music now. If it's us on the radio, then I get it. But if it's background noise that pops and stuff, that sucks. That sucks. All right, Sunfish, got you. However, you need to check on the band. You might be surprised what you see. I like to see what's around the band. I mean, don't sit in the middle of a concert or something, but it's easy once you learn. Yeah, see, once you, something like that's different. If you're at a concert live streaming, you know you're gonna get hit. All right, Sunfish, I'll just send you one back. Thirty minutes for each incense to clear, just to be had and get them done before noon. Oh, I bet. Like I say, it's a did a video for you. Hey, sunfish, I appreciate that. Like I say, uh, 
I mean, YouTube is a uh, it's a tricky game with all the copyrights, what you can do, what you can't do. It's work. Uh, YouTube can be an awesome hobby, especially your sports and stuff. You gotta look at it as a hobby because it can be frustrating trying to grow and like and get the views, man. Let me tell you this. On my channel, Carver Family, shameless plug, but I got 10,155 followers, subscribers on my channel, right? My last two videos I put out, Fishing at Disney, it's got 107 views and has stopped. My newest one with my kid, it's got 40 views and it's stopped. It's getting the views is some of the hardest things to do. It's been open all day. Oh, it's open? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's broken. Yeah, I didn't mark it. That's for sure. Scaling rag. It's tough getting those views, so, and man, you watch all the videos, all the YouTube videos on how to grow and all they say basically is just keep posting videos may suck for a long time and it takes one video then it can go off and change your whole channel take more time in your titles and descriptions and don't forget to put hashtags so the search finds you yeah see I've been doing I put a lot of hashtags in it. titles man I know I hear like the descriptions is huge to put on there because that's more uh, tags and pops, like triggers, I guess you can say. And uh, man, I tell you what, the titles, I need to find you on uh, Facebook or Instagram too so I can show you. Uh, I've seen, I've been following some of these people and they put like two words in their titles catching fish or catching crappie. And this guy's got like 90,000 views in a week on that one channel, right? If I do that, nothing. I use that crop feature on X now three hashtag for whatever title I have. What is that? Use the rock feature. Really? I, man, I need to get with you so you can show that to me.
here. Then I had to go get my kid, pick him up from school, drop him off to his mom, go back home, feed the dog, take the dog out. Now I'm back. But you fail. Whoa! This cold's getting to my back. Sit down. I'm gonna put catfish back in the driver's seat. Terry, come no, back. Took his rod to the pisser. Dedicated. I look at the event finder. And there's fish all over the place. Yeah, yeah. covered. Look like they're on the bottom. If you figure out how to adjust it and sensitivity might need to be backed off a little. Uh, you got your stick right? No, not yet, Tom. Hey, right, you better watch it up there. Get a blooper up here. That guy with the hat was a pirate, faux show. Yeah, moonshine pirate. Moonshine pirate. 28 thumbs up. I think they'd make it a little bit easier where it'd be like more of a, like electronic where it lifts up on its own. Electronic where it lifts up on its own by now. Well, they got them in the, in the heavy duty the anchor down in there, really? anchor sponge. You just hit a button back there and it raises. Really? Right? That'd be nice. Raise that jelly, Roger. Should be some stuff on your porch when you get home. All right, Tom. When I left, uh, nothing was there just yet. Just delivered. We got nine in here. How many thumbs up? 29. Come on, y'all. We need that 30. Look here, boy. Oh, you're so That's neat. I can sit back here and watch my phones and just keep it on track. You just can't get up there and step on it, you know. I might feed around the wall by the steering wheel or something. Yeah. What do you do to it? That increase its sensitivity too much. Well, you did. I was telling you, it needs to be less to more.
over. Six to six. Or Down at then, we had yeah, to power it up. Pop you up. Pretty powerful. Just a friend push a It's pretty easy. Is that as far down as you want it? I'm going you won't be able to tell until we get out there and start fishing. Yeah, I want to get it. Oh, what's one. that there? That catfish. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, it says turn switch into MOM position when not in use. Yeah. So that's what it's in now. Right? Yeah. So what position is that? Oh. I'm glad it reaches all the way back here and I can just sit back and follow the river channels. And... Oh, See, I got to go back down this way like that. It's just, it's kind of cool. Can you back sense TV off? Well, you're sitting still though, too, so he's mixed up there. Yeah, floating back. Floating back. Well, I could be something there, but we got thirty thumbs up, big thirty, dirty thirty. How did he know? And I was water temp. Is he wearing pads? Uh, we're looking at the water temp right here. What? I was marking some good fish when I brought it over. Here. When you say marking good fish, that's marking it right there. Well, that's bait fish. Yeah. Oh, you know how big monsters. Sizes on there. Uh, you talking about on here is big size. Yeah, man, it's uh, especially close to the bottom stuff. It's showing bigger fish. It's really? probably yeah, tiny. Look like a little skeleton. There's a big fat on the bottom. Yeah, that could be cats there. Could be Florida. Bahala, moon over Miami. Hello, when is the champagne voyage on the new boat today? Looks like we're probably going to be busting out in the morning. It's relaxing just sitting here. It's relaxing just sitting My here. My brother uses the hand and foot. No I mean, hand job. I'm sure on bass fishing, I'll probably use it for food. Oh, yeah. The cats and stuff. And just thing I need to find out about it because it's supposed to tell you how fast you're going to, I thought. But I'm pretty sure my other app does. Get that on camera in Valhalla. What's that? No, I'm going to have to pick it up. he's something else, ain't he? Yeah, I like him. <laughs> but he, he, that dog went up. His right there. Hey, dog! <laughs> See, I knew Valhalla would caught that. It wasn't on a boat. Tom came in and I missed him. We'll see you. Yeah, Tom said that it just got delivered, whatever it is. Oh, really? Makes me kind of want to go back and go get it, bring it down here, whatever it is. Good, we'll do an unboxing. I don't know if the music can kill you. No. But about how I talk about if you get hit tonight, go straight in there and silence each part before the money comes out tomorrow. He said he has to do it when he live streams. Sometimes they pop me. You can go in there, mute those segments, and it's After okay. you get hit? Yeah. He Just said he got hit morning. on the Masters, and he called them, and they took it away. Really? Who, who did he call? He said he called the Masters, I think. We don't play. You can't just be dropping P right there. I uh, know, Paul. Should I run up there and get the package? Yeah, if you want to. I won't have to check on Bailey or anything. See, I might feed, feed this around the wall. Looking at the, the 
life. Uh, yeah, I didn't see it come on when he showed me. Yeah, because it's bright out there, you see it? It's neat, yeah. yeah. It's neat how that ride works all right, not raising the cable. Well, it's not sitting all the way down. No, but it ain't going to hurt it. No. But, I mean, it'll work once we raise it, too. I definitely got to have it when it's sunny. Like today, me, nothing to bring it back. We might set it up tonight after Coke gets here because... Be ready to go in the morning. I don't know how hard I'll do it by myself, how hard it'll be. Love the ride hose. Oh man. I don't know. You want me to go up there and grab it? Yeah. down there too far? Yeah, once you can get it getting paid. Oh. You pocket modding mom. traffic there you guys are going to have to nail everything down real good for sure I know Valhalla hopefully they said I there's take each case go ahead I'll be back all right I'll be here chilling <laughs> you go in and make one now we go outside Davis takes me 
and said, boat looks good. Uh -huh. David texted me and said, boat looks good. David. Davis. Davis? Yeah, because he's been watching. Oh, Davis watching? Yeah. Make you a cup. Let a dog it. Didn't I bring that light down here? With light. Put that yellow light or I might have left it in the car because once it gets dark. Yeah. Oh. Uh, see that's what I mean if we string him across right there. Yeah. Have it plugged up. Alright, I'll be back. What's that called? It's a live brim out there. Really? Yeah. yeah. See, in this end, I'm still upset with that dog, little pisser, little pisser. This is going to sleep on the boat now, too. Man, I tell you what, there's some days we may, I mean, there's enough room down here to be able to kick back a uh, um, sleeping bag, honestly. I tell you, right here, there's a nice little couch right here that I'm going to kick back on. Got me a book to sit here and read from when we're out catfishing and getting nothing to do. This is three dollars at a Dollar Tree. I mean Dollar General. I'm a big book reader. Most I read a lot of like biographies and stuff. So love sports books. Bahala. Biography about the players and coaches and stuff like that. Actually. Uh, Listen to audio book, make your rabbits with the tent on it, tell that puppy get you a Mark Twain on it. And this one, the book I need to get and read that on here. Mark Twain. But, uh, man, who's that guy who was always with Skip Bayless on first take? He had a book, and I listened to it on an audio book on my Spotify. Man, that was a really good book. I don't know if you got to read that one yet or anything, but that was a good one. Bahala. But I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Yeah, Stephen A. Smith. I hate that. I know. I couldn't. I can't stand them. But that book was really good. It's kind of a really good look inside his life and stuff. But um, never was a fan of them. But uh, definitely a good read or a good listen, however you want to do it. But uh, you should try that out sometime. The guy's a worker. He had a lot of big dreams. He accomplished those things. They say they do really good here that no one really messes with no boats or anything. There's supposed to be cameras all over the place. Um, I think there's supposed to be a camera somewhere right over here. I don't I don't know. But uh, so they keep them locked down and tied down here with these uh, people. Uh, as many, he's a perfect example of what's wrong in sports media these days, laughing all the way to the bank. I tell you what, man, he definitely laughed to the bank. Uh, there's another guy, Clay Travis. He's from 
Nashville, done a lot of sports talk here. And I can't stand Clay Travis. He's another one of those shock jock type uh, sportscasters. I can't, I can't stand his shock jocks. And basically the casual fan, the fans in us, oh man, they, they hate us. I think camera's up on the right side of the gate. It looks like round bulb up there. Yeah, right, right about there, looks like, right there. Yeah, I hope that's it. So it's facing right here. Uh, we also talked about getting a uh, ring camera. And I want to put a mounted camera at the front of the gate, sit there and zoom it in, kind of. That way uh, we'll know if anybody messes with this boat and get people on camera like that. So we're thinking about doing the ring camera. That way we could, uh, anything happen, we can give the video to the marina or even the cops. Because I think that would be pretty good to do. Oh, added security, added feature to it, maybe. Oh, dang, it's got like a little pocket right here. Yeah. Two pockets on the size of this. on the sides of the chairs up front. I wish the front chairs had pockets. Brady is going to be a sports analyst now. I wish Brady got in coaching. This was Brady and I setting sail today. Mix up some back tomorrow. Oh yeah. Uh, I tell you, it's been fun to get out there today and jump on it, but it's fun to just kick back and relax sitting on a boat, hanging out with you guys and uh, just enjoying what I got, you know. And just chilling and enjoying it, sitting back, relaxing, and just kind of soaking it in. Uh, when you work hard all the time, you need something to enjoy it. Uh, have something to show for what you do. And, uh, just got to make payments on the boat, make payments on the dock. I mean, it's expensive owning the boat with payments and dock fees and insurance. I get insurance. I had to have insurance. So I got those insurance payments I got to do every month. So insurance, uh, boat fee, and docking. subscriber on the Carver family. See right now, let me show you that Valhalla. I don't know how good you can see it. Uh, it says 41 views on my newest video, 109 on the Disney one. Then 94 on the lightsaber, 146 Twilight Zone, 38 on the sci-fi diner. So I'm kind of bummed out that these videos ain't taken off, but hopefully the more I post, the more views we get. But we are sitting at 10,156 subscribers. Uh, my newest uh, short, it's at 3,000 views. So I'm getting my subscribers off of it. what this needs a beer cooler don't it Valhalla
see that. It's not easy to get notice on here. You got to keep grinding. I hit 15,000 last month trying to get to 300 members this week. I think I've only got like two members on my channel. I'm not trying to just grow my channel. I want my channel to be as big as it can get, obviously. That's why we do this. But I want to grow a huge community, you know. Uh, you need a good community. I'm trying to have a great community here on, on uh, my channel, Carver Family, on Catfish Terry's channel, and uh, my brother's channel, Coach Plays. So we're just trying to grow a huge community that we help each other out, share each other out, and uh, be a big family, you know. That way, when we go live, any of us goes live, you see all those same people that we just keep growing more and more. If I can get to 300 members, I'll get emoji number 21. There you go. Community decision. We have a blast. You got to have, it all starts, to me, it all starts with the community. Because if you ain't got a community, you ain't got a good uh, base. You know, that community is your base. The community is there with you thick or thin. You have a lot of people come and go, but that community is what sticks around and enjoys it. And uh, that community just grows more and more, and they feed into other channels. They feed into your channel. They feed over to my channel. It feeds over to Coach Play's channel. They feed over here on Catfish Terry's channel. So it, it's just a big family. Definitely got to have help on YouTube to grow. Got to be entertaining too, so hopefully we're entertaining enough to keep it going. Yeah. Exactly, Miami. Got to have fun. If it all goes together, I feel bad for Coach. His stuff is so good, but it's frequency that makes the channel grow. Yeah, I told Coach, man, I was like, I am blown away that his channel hasn't skyrocketed. Uh, he did some uh, videos, like play breakdown, player breakdowns on college players, and one of his videos got completely blocked and taken off, so it got discouraged about doing those. But uh, his videos, man, he does a lot of research and a lot of time, puts a lot of time in his channel in videos. But he does a lot of research. I refuse to make videos, man. Way too much time to get lost in the show. Yeah, it's, it's hard for him to live stream like he used to, having a little girl and everything like that, being a football coach. It's just, it's hard for him to be able to commit to live streaming all the time. It is a lot of time. My brother, he he puts in so much time. It's more Scott and Rags. But uh, he puts in a lot of time on his videos and so much commitment that he does. So much time and editing, voiceover and all that stuff and research, photos and all that stuff. It's just, he's been doing good. He's been getting about a thousand views. It's so that he gets about 20 or 30. That's like, man, gets you discouraged in a heartbeat. But uh, I told him, I go, just keep pounding, keep doing what he's doing, keep putting that uh, content out there, and hopefully, eventually, his channel will blow up. It's getting chilly out here, man.
Got 31 thumbs up. Nine in a room. I think I'm doing a decent job holding down the fort for old catfish. I don't know how it is with this boat next to us, man. I don't know if Catfish told you guys, but some young punks over here. You know, jerks, man. Been building my streaming setup so I can set them up fast. My baseball streams take less than five minutes to set up from thumbnail for scheduling. Schedule uh, started my football one day. There you go. crazy if the numbers don't make sense I'm not doing the crap anymore things have got so much better since I started paying attention to the numbers really I'm gonna have to look in there and try to find I'm just searching on what to keep doing and I'm hoping this fishing will uh, pay off a whole lot more and start growing that community like I wanted to you know more videos with my kid out here fishing man I can't wait to do videos with my kiddo Get him outdoors doing all this stuff. I'll tell you what, it's a hobby, but a lot of people don't understand just how much work it is to do YouTube. Put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, and when you're not even working the live streaming or filming, you're thinking about it constantly. Throughout the whole day, I'm just thinking how to grow my channel. Stop my Dodger stream tonight and say howdy sir for the promo. It's good. Hit that promo. Valhalla. I need to make sure. Gotcha. But uh I think about YouTube all day long from sun up to sundown. I'm trying to grow my channel, how to make it better, how what to do to get the views and all that good stuff. I can tell you, show you right there that I am a subscriber with my notifications on. Dude. Notice your uh, paint schemes didn't do all that good, did it, on your videos. 290, I would be really happy. Uh, 290 views. I wish I could get at least 100 views on each video. I wish that would be my, like my low end. Be my floor starting at 100. And eventually get 200 as my floor on it.
just like start low and uh, kind of keep it building, you know. Just dabbled in that crab. It's maddening, to be honest. Yeah, and you know what? Um, I see a lot of people do, I know TikTok, but shorts and stuff, they do like the paint schemes of the week. And they do really good. It's just about getting that audience or having YouTube push it. Just gotta hope it gets pushed. You gotta hope that people click on it and it's about what they want to see, that subject. If they they see it pop up on their phone, then it's like, they'd be like, ah, not really subject I want to watch or look at, so they don't click on it. Uh, that's the big thing. That, okay, hit that right subject. Can't get any momentum on TikTok either. I can't either. That's where a lot of my subscribers came. It's from TikTok. Uh, I had this one coworker. She shared me out on hers. My channel blew up. I think part of it is my age. These kids don't know what the old man has to say. That's it, man. I'll be 40 this year. Nick Nimmin's channel has videos on how to get more traffic on your channel. Yeah, I like old Nick Nimmin. But uh, uh, I tried using his stuff too. I mean, it all comes down to it. It seems like they just always say post, post, post. Uh, be committed, uh, be frequent, uh, post at certain times of the day, you know, daily or so many times a week, uh, and talk about analytics and stuff, but he is a YouTube promoter, man. He's getting paid by YouTube, and what is that, a YouTube studio he endorses? So, uh... Uh, he's all Mr. YouTube. He won't talk negative on it. Now, his brother, uh, he'll uh, pop off about YouTube. I've asked his advice on them for a time, but no response. Nick. Yeah. Coach, he's uh, popped in his live streams a couple times and uh, asked about some questions, and it's about a generic type of answers all the time. You hey, know what? These seats feel pretty good down here. out of the uh, north. He gives you the TOS. Yep. And I tell you what, and them all, they're all about getting paid, honestly. They want you kind of privately and they'll give you lessons and stuff. You look at my channel, he would destroy my channel. Hell, all over the place I am on my channel, different things. Uh, with a little bit of sports, I've got artwork on my channel. I've got fishing on my channel. I got. I used to do some product reviews on it. Uh, when we go out to uh, vacation, I've done vacation vlogs. I've done uh, restaurant reviews when we go to vacation, where we go eat. I've done that. He would absolutely destroy my channel because I do everything wrong on my channel. Like they say, they want one niche, you stick to that one niche, and that's it. Mine, it's all over the place because I want multiple people to come along. I'm, I'm hoping I'm selling myself, I'm holding myself out. I want people to enjoy me. And that's what I hope for. That was probably my biggest mistake. Too broad of content range. It's my channel. That's how I am. I'm, it's me. There's the catfish. Oh, that first one might, I don't know. Yeah. Here, let me just. 
Oh. Give me my coffee there. Man, deers are out everywhere, Joe. How long have we been streaming? Two, uh, 223 minutes. We're going to have to stop in a minute and start it back up, y'all, because four hours and you don't get no more credit. And it four hours. Yeah. Valhalla's still with it. You don't have to stop Valhalla after four hours. I heard it was after four. I was watching a video the other night and they were saying after four, they shut you off. Is this for Tom? Uh, who's it from? Yeah, we got a couple packages from Tom Kelly. Is Tom Kelly in here? No, heck no. I got a lot of views. Yeah, it was some video I was watching. They were saying that the other day. I said, dang, I've heard that before, and I forgot all about it. About 20 minutes ago. We got a couple packages here from Tom Kelly. I guess we'll go ahead and open them. I don't know what they are. I don't have a bird feeder. Yeah, I oh, is that what that was? Looks like wind chimes, but the balls strategically placed all the way down. We might have put it over later. We'll never get to see them. Big old car from the bus get out of there. You want to open them? I can. Carver's going to open them up, y'all. Being Tom Kelly, it ain't no telling. Hopefully Pirate Hats and Jolly Rogers. Uh, let's see this. Yeah, he's working night, and he said he'd be popping in now. Dock line. Dock line. LED light strips. And something, something from Cascoon, yeah. Oh man, a nice fillet knife. Look at that. That is slick. I like that grip on the A good shad knife, man. Yeah. Can open her on it. Open her. I was just thinking about buying a new knife today. That is awesome. Fish gutter. Had to cut those. Uh, Skipjack up good. You got another box here. We'll have to figure out how that works. Yeah. 50 foot. 50 foot. Yeah. A lot of times, 32. A lot of times they work off of USB. Uh, but the only thing I don't see what we'll do about the rails. Yeah, I know. 
Get that sucker mounted. That seat's comfortable there. Yeah, it is. How do you, uh, where's the screws to mount this? It's in your lap. It goes to the bottom. What does that mount to? Uh, Oh, all right. like so, you, it so you don't have to screw it on. Yeah, you got to screw that part of the base. 
Oh, this? That's the railing. That's to mount the railing. Yeah. And this, it's got screws in there too. So oh, it does here. Yeah. Screw it, screw it into that. All right. Where's that knife at again? I wonder if it'll fit in there. I know it would without the sheet. But. takes time. Because I don't want to get that old skipjack blood all in the boat and everything. Chris Davis, hey, you leaving Valhalla or? Y'all, I think we're going to end the stream. Carver, uh, Coach Plays is here, and we're going in side and eat dinner. But uh, I appreciate everybody being here. Michael Owens, Martin, UK. Where are you going? <laughs> Talk to me when I try to lift up. I was seeing where they was at. Well, I'm sure they'll walk up, surely. But, uh, Appreciate y'all. Appreciate the super chats. And y'all, me and Carver's getting up going fishing tomorrow. We're live stream too. What does that say? Nice boat, Terry. Hit that like button. Thank on you, the way Chris. Out. But love y'all. Check all of our members, y'all, and uh, heel rod holders, Tom Kelly. Man, everybody go. See Tom Kelly and send a message out to him. Appreciate it and everything. Master Fish Gal, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart too. Love all y'all. Till next time, y'all. We're about to head fishing. Love y'all. Get hooked.